Kurt's Spell is an anime-styled third-person action multiplayer game that has a mixture of both PvE boss battles and 2v2 PvP. Your character is known as a chaser and your class is known as your karma. You can unlock multiple karmas and equip up to two at a time, switching between them in combat. This is another one of those instanced hub type games where you'll get a mission from a table, go through a loading screen, do the mission and repeat. Before we jump into the first impressions, this video is sponsored by the developers, however they just wanted a normal first impressions vid with all the usual critique and I was going to cover this game anyway so I thought why not. Okay so starting off with an intro cutscene. Seems to be anime styled. Nice. Uh, I'm a big anime fan. Personally I do enjoy a little bit of dubbed anime as well. I know a lot of you in the comments are probably going to hate on me for that but, but this is fine. This is cool. Feels very authentic anime. Good voice acting as well. Rip. In general, how do you view an object? Okay, we've got a little questionnaire to answer before the game starts. Forest rather than a tree, I guess. What process do you follow when making a decision? Logical or emotional? Logical. Where does your energy flow? I guess inward. What's your lifestyle? Seeks perfection and likes to be well organized. Seeks comfort and flexible personality. Why not both? We recommend architect type for you. I'm not too sure what impact it's gonna have on gameplay. Straight away, absolutely gorgeous anime graphics. You've got the choice between being male or female. Haven't been a female for a while in a first impressions video, so we're gonna be a female. Two body sliders here. You can be really muscular, you can be porky, or you can be skinny. Oh, and this one. Yin and yang. Go for something with a bit of thickness. Four different eye types. I always tend to go for the biggest eyes in anime games. Okay, you can have a paw print as your pupil. Alright. Not too sure how that works, but let's just go with it. You can have some really fucking crazy pupils in this game. What the hell? We go with this one. It looks a little bit human-like. Seems like there's a lot of options when it comes to picking an exact hairstyle. You can have it really... Uh, bright or super jet black. I want to go for a nice shade of blonde, maybe something like that. Now, this is what I appreciate in an MMO. A boob slider. Breast fullness. Nice, two boob sliders. It says hip, but what it means is ass. Select karma, dance of wind or sword talia. So one's a slayer and one's a breaker. Let's see if we can get some more information on that, because I want to play a DPS. Uses strong break skills to create attack opportunities for allies. That's the Sword Talia. The Dance of Wind deals large damage to enemies with fast and powerful attacks. We're going to go with the Dance of Wind Karma, because she's got a sword, she's got a bow. Lots of fast attacks. I feel like this is the one where we're going to really see where the combat shines. Organization Accessory. Let's go with something around the leg. Kind of works well on the female. So, now we're in the game. And you can kind of run and as you change direction, your character kind of skids around. You can zoom the camera in and out. It's not locked to a certain position. Although, as you zoom out, it seems to be a little bit off-centered. You can double jump in this game. You can dash with shifts. If I hold right-click, it does a charged snipe-like attack. So, I guess we've got to practice on this guy. What is my R ability? Oh, wow! That deals some bloody damage. Early impressions of the combat is that it feels quite fun. I've got an E ability. What does this do? Oh, nice. Some ranged AoE. So I guess this is like the central hub area. I really like the art style of this game. Nice camera shot right there. Appreciate that. <laughs> I definitely prefer that this game has decent Japanese voice acting rather than a bad Western dub. Like, you've got the subtitles to read everything. Feels like a real anime game. There's a lot of people around and we are suffering from a few frame drops due to the sheer volume of people. I've got four little outfits to start the game off. We're going to go with the office look for sure. Do we have any underwear? We actually don't. We're equipping the chain belt. Looks a little bit odd with my suit, but we'll go with it. It's fine. This seems to be where everyone's hanging out. This is where you get missions from. Wait one sec. There's an option to change channel. There's a bunch of different channels. Let's go to a less populated one, and it should give us better FPS in this area. Okay, cutscene before the mission starts. It seems like the game's got 
some kind of story-driven narrative behind all of it. The woman on the left has ridiculously huge boobs. Bloody hell. Brilliant, she's pissed off. See how that works out for you. We'll snipe her in the face. We'll jump up, do some combos. She's my E ability to AoE her. Lovely. So underneath their health bar, they have a break bar. And when that break bar goes down, it seems as though they get CC. They get knocked down or something. I'm focusing the ranger first. Makes the most sense to me. I think she's about to die. See you later. Frame rate in these missions is very good. Feels very smooth. The combat feels well animated. The controls feel decent. Not too difficult to get used to. So after the mission, there's some kind of dialogue section that comes up and I can click through this at my own pace now rather than um, watching it as it goes. Elf from Runaway Island 2. This little girl has somehow tamed this giant bloody dog. Tiger thing. In the bottom left of my screen, I seem to be building up some kind of Q attack. I don't know if that's some kind of ulti, but maybe we'll find out. Oh god, I'm getting my ass. No, I'm gonna die! I'm almost dead. Ugh. I need to kill the- Okay, I've, got, I've unlocked my Q ability. We're gonna try it out. Here we go. Oh wow, it's a giant phoenix that just flies out and there's a little- mini cutscene when it happens and just does big damage. GG. I'm gonna assume some of these bosses, you're gonna have to use the environments to beat them. Oh, we're gonna dodge that. Alright, this guy's gonna be broken soon. Oh, that's one way to bloody combo him. So, the first few missions are quite easy, but I can see how they're probably going to ramp up in difficulty. So, after the first three intro missions, it seems like the game's opened up a little bit, and now I have a lot more choice. There's a bunch of different missions on the map, some solo, some duo, and this seems to be a PvP one, Capture the Flag. And there's a little anime cutscene here explaining why the chasers are fighting each other, which is cool. It's a way of practicing apparently jumping into our first pvp match and this is ultimately what kurt spell is all about where's my teammate dude my teammates over there the enemy's getting the flag no they got the flag this person's just bloody chasing me around <laughs> oh no it's going it's a disaster we need to dodge we need to combo and we need to do big damage some big spell effects going on there. One of them's dead. This character got the flag again. Oh, nice. She's dead. Where's the flag? The resurrection time is a little bit too short to actually successfully get the flag. Right, I've got my ultimate. Here we go. Let's do big damage. Oof, nice. I'm going to grab the flag. My flag now. Seriously? They just spawn before you can grab the flag. The combat's fun, but this mode needs a lot of work. Okay, I, don't, I have no idea what that is. What is going on? Bloody hell. It's just raining uh, ice. I guess we should try and get in this circle. Oh, okay. We're comboing this person to death. Bloody hell, that was like three kills in a row. Being CC'd in this game does not feel good. Okay, fuck it, here we go. We're popping the ulti, big damage. I wish I picked a different class. The ranger just plays the same for every single fight. It's run away. When they attack and they stand still, shoot them, run away. If they do a mechanic, press dodge. Oh god, we're getting bloody chopped into the ground. Let's try a deathmatch PvP game. Maybe my new weapon upgrade will make a difference. Oh no, she popped her ulti. She missed her ulti. Nice. That's the first kill. Now we can work together on this person. Let's go. Is this going to be the first PvP match that we win? Seems like it. Nice. Okay, deathmatch is way more fun than the other ones. It's nice just being able to focus on kills. Here we go! 
Nice. Nice. Nice, sir. We got the win. Okay, that was fun. I really like deathmatch mode. From what I can tell, PvP actually gives you the best rewards. Like, this one gives 133 AP and 222 CP. Whereas, these missions, they give you a lot less. But I guess they give you, like, other items and stuff. Oh, bloody hell. What is this monster? This is some Cthulhu-like motherfucker here. Lots of balls, lots of things to dodge. Nice, I've got myself a secondary karma. Brilliant. I can switch between melee and bow. I can switch between my two different weapons by simply pressing tab. Let's uh, test out my new abilities, shall we? So I've got an E. This is my R. Seems to charge up a really big punch. And it's... Knocked the monster over. Okay, the combat's definitely a lot more fun now you got your secondary weapon. My teammate's gonna be very upset with me at this rate. Man. Some of the CC duration lasts a little bit too long. You can just be chained and chained and chained. Cover me. Okay, I got the flag. My teammate's doing a fantastic job. This is what capture the flag is me just making sure he can't grab the flag. I'm just gonna run around a rock and distract him, and then we win after one minute or so. I'm gonna ulti as well. Is it gonna- Okay, we hit both of them with the ulti. Do we kill both? We did. Bloody hell. I'll grab the flag, I guess. Right, this time I'm fighting an undead dragon monster. Okay. The animation on the cutscenes are really cool. That's one thing the game does do very well, I think. Like, presentation of the cutscenes, the graphics, the visuals. It's a very nice looking game, that's for sure. One of the better looking anime games that I've played, to be honest. I guess it looks so good because this game's made in Unreal Engine 4. Change my secondary karma to Diabolic Witch. Instead of a dodge, the witch has this blink skill that kind of, like, teleports her through a little rift. Very cool. Now I've got the blizzard ability, I guess it makes more sense to do conquest. What was that? These people must be really geared. They're just doing so much damage. Q, let's go. Big damage. Let's kill this idiot. Ah, oh, it wasn't enough. Die to my blizzard. Okay, nice. That was a good kill. Let's go. Here we go. Big meteor right in the center of the circle. Everyone's going to die. Nice. There it is. Follow it up with the blizzard. Okay, no one was there for the blizzard. It's fine. Let's go. Kill you. Double kill. Nice. Are we going to win this? We was getting bloody dominated. Wait. We win? The first four and a half minutes of conquest doesn't matter because we was getting absolutely destroyed by these two people. I go in with like 30 seconds to go. Drop an ultimate on their heads, kill them both, and then we win because we've got the control point swung in our direction. Unique karma crystal upgraded. Nicer. As much as some of the gameplay is a little bit hit or miss, one thing you can't deny is it's quite a nice waifu simulator, isn't it? Let's check this out. There's a place called the training grounds. So if you want to just practice some combos, you've got the training grounds here. Although, I don't really have a whole lot to practice yet because I haven't got all of my abilities. So after playing Kurt Spell for a few hours, my early impressions of the game so far are as follows. Visually, I thought the game looked very beautiful and I enjoyed the art style a lot. Everything I've played so far has been fully voice acted to a good standard and I felt the game was trying to tell me a story over the various missions. The music so far has been really good and fitting for the game. It's a pretty good waifu simulator due to the character customization and obtainable cosmetics in the game. It doesn't take you too long to gain access to your secondary karma which makes the combat a lot more fun. I appreciate that there's a training mode that displays all of the combat for your weapons and even though the game's quite PvP focused it's nice that there's a mix of PvE in there also with the boss fights. I think it's a bit of a pain having to go back to the main hub after every mission instead it'd be better if you had the choice to pick another mission right after the previous one without going to the hub as it'd save waiting through an extra loading screen resulting in a better game flow. The frame rate and overall performance at the main hub area was really bad. It felt like the game was unable to handle 30 players 
players in the same area at the same time. The Conquest PvP mode made no sense. You could essentially AFK and build up ultimates for the first 4 minutes of the game, only to take control at the last second and win the game. Only the last few seconds of that game mode seemed to count and it wasn't very fun. I also didn't like the capture the flag mode due to respawn time as being very similar to the amount of time it takes to pick up the flag and body throwing a flag not being overly fun. The only PvP mode I enjoyed was the deathmatch one. Being CC'd in this game felt worse than other PvP games. I can't put my finger on why, but perhaps it has to do with the amount of time you're CC'd for, as well as the animation showing your character completely frozen. It just doesn't feel right. Overall, I think for what it is, Kurt's Spell is a decent game, despite being very niche. I didn't list the combat as a pro or a con because at times hitting the combos felt really good, whilst to others it felt a bit on the clunky side of things. I think the game could still use a bit of improving when it comes to the game modes, optimizations, overall flow and crowd control, but visually it's quite nice and I can see it being easy to expand onto more game modes in the future. But that's it for this video guys, once again thanks to Kurt Spell for sponsoring this video and allowing me to be completely honest about the game. As always, do let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below and click the link in the description if this is a game that you're interested in checking out. Thanks for watching, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you again really soon.